This is a quick tutorial on how to create threads. So for any cylindrical form that you have, we can create a helix coil on it and then cut material away to simulate a thread. So to start this off, we're going to go up to the tools um, that we can choose from here. And we're going to select helix. So to create a helix on circular geometry, select a cylindrical or conical face or a circular edge. Specify pitch or number of turns, directions, and start angle. So I'm going to go ahead and select my um, cylinder here. <clears throat> and we can tell it how many turns to include um, and a start angle. So the item that we're going to pick from is the height and the pitch. Um, so we're going to tell it how far to go up this particular bolt. Um, let's go with one inch there. And then the helical pitch, um, it depends on the particular size that you're working with. So a common um, thread size is 3 8 16. So what that means, 3 8 16 in the UNC standards, is that it's for a 3 8 inch diameter bolt, for example, and the 16 represents that there are 16 uh, coils or turns per inch, 16 threads per inch. Okay, so the pitch for a 13 thread, um, what we don't want is the basic pitch diameter. What we do want is the um, section at the minor diameter. So 0 0.0678 inches is the um, pitch distance that we actually want. So not diameter, we want this distance. So over here, we're going to go ahead and change that to 0 0.0678 for the helical pitch. And nothing happened there uh, because I did not select the circular edge. There we go. So you do have to select the circle, not the cylindrical form. OK. And then it shows us what's going on there. So yep, the height is going up one inch. If you want it to go up the bolt farther, you can certainly do that as well. All right, so what's interesting is that we will have 16 turns exactly um, for this. So the next item we're going to create is a triangle on this um, front plane. So go ahead and select the front plane, not the right plane, uh, and create a new sketch on it. And toward the top here, uh, we're going to go ahead and create um, a triangle, an equilateral triangle, right on this top um, coil here. So we'll choose the um, line segment here and one of the parts of the triangle has to be vertical or parallel uh, with the with the bolt itself or with the cylinder. Okay. Uh, and so we're going to make it equilateral. I'm going to choose the constraint for equal and just set them all equal. And then specifically, the diameter just needs to be a little bit less than the pitch that we put in. So 0 0.06 would be a perfectly good diameter for that. And then the last thing we need to do is select that vertical edge. Oops, not dimension though. Uh, just select that vertical edge and the coil itself. And now under constraints, we're going to choose pierce to make sure that um, the geometries intersect there. So that's been created. We can't really access that particular triangle because it's now kind of inside of this bolt. Uh, so when we go to use it, we're going to have to choose it from the browser bar. OK. And so the last piece here is to sweep. And we're going to sweep um, sketch three, that triangle, across the path for the helix. So we'll choose that coil. And then be sure to click Remove Material. And it's going to show you exactly what it will look like. And go ahead and click the green check mark. Okay. So it's not perfect, but at least it gives you an idea uh, about how that may appear. So that's a decent looking thread. I had to use a little Google to help me out with the pitch. But that's the idea behind uh, creating a thread.